What's up everyone, John here from Respect My Region and today we have another West Coast Weed Tour review and we're doing a really interesting one today. It's called the Jedi Knights OG from Coalition Cannabis. Coalition Cannabis is um, produced up in the Emerald Triangle and yeah, so we're rocking at 25% THC, basically no CBD, 0.13%. Uh, here's the box it came in, big beautiful cardboard box here's the jar black um, you know California is uh, you know it's all about branding in California you're basically going on brand name okay really good smell off the bat I'm excited to smoke this one okay so we've got 10 categories 100 point rating system if you never watched one of our reviews before uh, we take a little bit of weed we grind it up we, we take a hit talk about it and then I'll go through what these 10 categories mean and why we rate it the way we do. And here we go. If you watched our reviews before, you know the drill. You've been here before. All right. Oh, didn't prep. I gotta empty out my bowl. I enjoy grinding the weed up. I have, I've broken them up by hand before during these reviews and I found the flavor profile doesn't really come through the way I'd like. So now we grind all the time. Wow, you get like a really sharp smell. It's like pine. It's really interesting. Jedi Knights OG. I've never smoked this strain before, so let's go. Coalition Cannabis, Jedi Knights OG. a really clean just herby taste it it really kind of aligns with the smell like a herbally cleaner type of taste it's it's really really interesting <coughs> all right the presentation you know i give this an eight you know the black i really like the color that that nice green um, that they picked for this strain. It really looks nice with the flat black. Yeah, I don't have too much to say about the presentation um, other than I, I like it. It looks good. The flat black seems to be a common theme in California. Product appeal, yeah, an eight. Jedi Knights OG is a very appealing strain. Um, Coalition Cannabis, they have a great website. Um, you know, the branding is obviously well is thought out. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're a fan of Emerald Triangle produced cannabis, then, you know, this is probably something you're going to gravitate towards. Color. The, the buds themselves don't look special, but they look great. You know, it's not like a memorable crazy purple bud or something with pink hairs or something. You know, it's got a, it's your basic looking, just really nice, lush green cannabis, orange hairs, decent amount of trichomes. Um, the smell is where this, this really, really shines though. I would give this a, a nine on the smell. It's like really, it's hard to describe. It's, it's kind of like that weird hay smell that you get, but it's, it's, it's like if that smell was really good, it's really hard to describe. It's like a herbally piney, um, florally smell. Um, you know, this is why we really talk about the more information category and why we wish we had terpenes available because instead of just talking about what I think I'm smelling, I could talk about the terpenes on the labeling and then tell you, um, okay, this smell is probably this terpene, this smell might be this terpene, um, but we don't have any of that, but it's a good smell. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Potency, yeah, I definitely feel like this one hit me. Um, like an OG, it definitely felt like it's slow. It's slowing me down. I can feel it right behind my eyes. Um, so it's like a heady weight, and that is really what I like to to feel when I smoke a good OG. So I would give this a really good score on the potency as well. Experience, we're gonna. This is gonna sit right at about a seven point five. You know, I wasn't blown away, but I would absolutely recommend and buy this strain again. You know, if you know, just depending on what was around. If if nothing else was um, picking my fancy and I saw some of this Jedi Knights OG there, I would I would definitely scoop up an eighth of this again. 
Um, for the high alone, like I said, a great OG high. It's really starting to settle in. My eyes are feel really heavy. So this is definitely a good one. I kind of already went over the more information. You know, wish I had some terpenes, some strain lineage. Um, they give me the basic stuff like THC information, things like that. So about a seven. What I recommend, yeah, at an eight and overall, at you know, this is right at the 7.5, eight mark. You know, great weed. Uh, the Jedi Knights OG, you know, it is a memorable strain name. I wish I knew what the, the actual lineage of it was, but you know, it's, it's a good product. I would absolutely recommend picking up some Coalition Cannabis if you have the chance. But that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out all of our West Coast Weed Tour reviews. Um, you know, if you're looking for a product, we might have reviewed it this year. We're, we're catching up to 200 reviews by the end of the tour. And yeah, check us out on the socials, respectmyregion.com. And have a good day, everyone. Peace.